Today we're going to be hooking up the click and go to snow blade to this 2004 Suzuki Iger 400. I've been using the same snow blade and same ATV for the, this will be the fourth winter now and it works like a charm. This click and go to snow blade is amazing. If you are looking for a snow blade, I, I highly recommend this click and go to system. Here we got the click and go to Kempex snow blade. I put it on my uh, Suzuki Iger 400. It's a 2004 Suzuki Iger 500 or 400, sorry. And uh, I've had this thing for three years. As you can see, it's staying in good shape. I keep it lubed up and uh, it just keeps working good for me. Keep it maintained. Don't ever let these things, as you can see, I've already put oil in here, but I'll just show you anywhere where there's movement. There's a hinge. Now right here, there's a foot pedal. And this is where you can connect it and disconnect it from the mounts underneath the ATV. Well, I take it off a lot because I use my ATV for ice fishing and, and things like that. So I'm moving wood around, firewood. So I just keep everything lubed and working in good order and nothing seizes up and nothing rusts. See, it's all working good and over here too you can uh, th this um, swivel so when I hook it up to the ATV I will either grease or oil this here this mechanism so that it can swerve or swivel back and forth no problem so right now I'm gonna hook it up to my ATV there's mounts underneath you have to put the mount on yourself or or get your dealer to put it on but it's pretty simple you just have to take the plastics that are underneath the frame, you know, the stops are from banging into rocks and mud and rocks coming up in there. Anyways, I took that off. I put the mounts on. This is for winter. And uh, I'm going to show you how to hook up the click and go to snow blade to the ATV mount. It's very simple. And then we're going to lube a few of the, the mechanisms here on the snow blade. So I'm not sure if you can see, but right here is a step pedal. It's just a pedal that you press on and there's hooks underneath that open up and you put it up on the mount uh, underneath your ATV, let go of the foot pedal and the hooks come on and connect and it doesn't come off. And you also want to use your winch at the same time. Okay, so you have two hooks. One hook here on your snow blade that is for mounting the snow blade to the ATV. And then there's a front hook right here. So that's the back hook we just hooked up. To. Then there's a front hook that we use while we're operating to lift and lower the snow blade during our, uh, snow removal. So I'm going to draw this in a bit. Don't get your finger caught in there because it won't feel good. So gonna push the ATV back a little bit and then we're gonna raise the snow blade you, just, you, you eyeball it underneath you want to make sure everything's lined up you can see where your hooks are touching the mount I would show you but it's so dark under there All right, they're both hooked on now. Now that the, the snow blade is hooked onto the mount, it can't come undone. So we'll drop the blade. And we'll unhook it from the, that hook. And we'll, we'll hook it up to the second hook. And we'll lift. And basically that's it. There is the hooks I was talking about. So this is the hook for operating the snow blade, lifting it and lowering it. And this hook here is for when you want to hook it up to the mount, hook up the snow blade to the mount. So right in here is what I'm talking about. When you step on this, I'll show you. Oh, actually I'll show you on this side. So when you step on these pedals here, you can uh, swivel the blade in two directions on the right and two directions on the left. 
So what I like to do is, every once in a while, because sometimes, you know, there's sand and salt, I'll just rub a little grease down in here. And that keeps it moving freely, and I don't have to worry about fighting with it while I'm trying to remove snow. You know what I mean? And I'll work this grease in there. I'll swivel it back and forth. So basically, you step on the pedal, and you can just move it. Work that grease in there. So there's the, the far to the left slot. You step on the pedal. There's another to the left spot, only it's not as sharp. Same with the right, there, and there. Very easy to operate this click and go to snow blade. Now there isn't much snow here to remove. There's only about an inch of fluff. But I'll show you how it works. And uh, when I do have a bigger snowfall, I'll do another video to show you how awesome this click and go to snow blade really works. So basically that's it. That's how easy this click and go to. It really is click and go. So now it's good for the winter. Like I said, I take it off and on all the time because I go for rides. I go ice fishing out on the lake. All sorts of things. Move firewood around the house. And I don't necessarily need the blade on there the whole time, right? So I take it off. It takes me like less than a minute and then I'm ready to go. And then when I want to move, remove snow again, I just Click it on, and I'm good to go remove snow. It's that easy. So thanks for watching, and uh, hit that like button for me, the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It helps my channel out, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, and have a great day.